So earlier this week, I got a chance to visit BioCurious, which is a biotechnology hackerspace based down in Sunnyvale, California. They're up to some really weird and cool stuff down there. It's pretty groundbreaking. And our host, Eric Harness, is gonna tell us a little bit about it. Um, so we are one of the very first hackerspaces for biotechnology, interfacing biology and technology together. And so we work with wet stuff, tasting or food, things around diseases, which impact us all. So we have 4,100 square feet and we mostly interface with people who are entrepreneurs and what they want to be able to do is take their small little idea and make it into a product. So about 70% of our business model is based around those people. And then the other 30% is either high school students who want to run a project, uh, maybe like uh, their science fair project, um, or explore technology. And then also it's corporate workshops or um, STEM classes, something along those lines. If you want to enter the wet lab, you have to have a membership, so you have to be here. But we also have co-working classes where people can come in and like, if you want to study cuttlefish, we'll show you our cuttlefish, which are in the other room. If you want to, yeah. They're adorable. So we have baby cuttlefish. Besides the typical lab equipment, materials, and consumables, a number of which are free to members, BioCurious also sports a bioprinter or two. This one is a modified Prusa, and behind it is a gene gun, which uses compressed air to shoot genes into cells attached to minute tungsten particles. That is so metal. There's the expected array of cool hardware experiments. And also a giant printer that's been modified to print with wax for experiments in microfluidics. Here Eric shows us some of the printed channels onto which hot glue is squirted and then peeled off, kind of like how you press a record. If you're curious about this, or bio-curious even, be sure to give them a visit.